guys welcome back to my channel homescapes if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet do click on the red subscribe button and become a part of homescapes family so today it's time for another plant care video i'm here with the complete guide on how to care and grow hibiscus plant so this beautiful plant here is widely known by the name hibiscus it is also known by some less widely used names like rose mallow china rose tropical hibiscus and rose of sharon it is a tropical shrub which produces large trumpet shaped flowers and it has lanceolate shaped leaves with toothed margins now let's look into its care and maintenance coming to its pot requirements use a pot of at least 10 inches to grow your hibiscus plant if you do plant your hibiscus in the ground it grows up to become a medium large sized shrub this plant too likes well draining soil which is rich in organic matter to make its soil mix equal amounts of garden soil or soil native to your area river sand and compost hibiscus does best in partial shade receiving 3 to 4 hours of morning sun too much sun will scorch its leaves and too little sun can cause stunted growth and no blooms hibiscus loves warm temperatures being a tropical shrub coming to the watering needs of hibiscus it likes to be watered regularly keep the soil moist especially when the buds are forming dehydration will cause its buds to drop water it as soon as its top soil starts to dry hibiscus is a heavy feeder and it needs frequent fertilizing to produce its showy flowers feed it with a liquid fertilizer every 10 days i personally like to use seaweed fertilizer for this purpose to use seaweed fertilizer make sure you follow all the instructions given on the bottle properly seaweed fertilizers are made from the extracts of seaweed found in the ocean It is known to contain a variety of plant growth stimulants and it boosts the overall yield and resistance of plants. I have left the link to buy the seaweed fertilizer in the description box below. Moving to the propagation of hibiscus, take semi wood cuttings of about 4 to 5 inches, get rid of all the leaves on it. You can also use a rooting hormone to help grow the roots faster. After the hibiscus is done with flowering, give this plant a light prune. This helps it become bushier and also it maintains the size and shape of the plant. Also guys, do deadhead the spent flowers when these appear dry and shriveled. This will encourage more buds to form and you will eventually get more blooms on your hibiscus. Lastly, let's look at the common pests that attack hibiscus. Aphids, mealybugs and spider mites are the commonest pests that attack hibiscus. To prevent attack of such insects or get rid of them, spray neem oil and soap water mixture every 2 weeks. That's all for this video guys. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and happy till I come back with another video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Bye guys.